Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out. I was going to tell you Try It Out Tuesday, but I'm replacing Try It Out Tuesday with my Countdown to Christmas series. So today we're going to be playing with this die set. It's from Hello Bluebird. It's called the Holly and Pine die set. Great price point, guys. It's, I think it's like $7.99 or $8.99 for all those dies, and I'll link it down below. I'm also going to bring in this fine um, frames die set from Ulta New, kind of mixing and matching. Um, to create my Christmas card today. I love pine needles. I love pine cones. Um, and I love um, glittery accent on them, almost like it's a, a crystallized snow. I think it makes the most elegant card, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to separate the dies, and then we're going to die cut them out with um, Nina 80 pound cardstock. It's a thinner weight cardstock um, because the dies. I found that using 80 pound cardstock with pine needles works better because <laughs> it's um, so intricate and detailed. So we're going to sandwich our plates together, run this through the Platinum 6 machine, and then I'm also going to do a little bit more die cutting with the same dies. Not the large pine needle, but the um, two smaller ones, and then I want a three pine cones in total, and also two of the little berry um, clusters here. So we're just going to punch everything out. And you can see the 80 pound cardstock, um, the pine needles are pretty intricate and 80 pound works best, at least for me, um, when die cutting. You just kind of got to shimmy them a little bit to work them out of your cardstock. Okay, using the same cardstock, we'll just die cut out a few more of our pine needles again. And then um, we're going to color these in with Distress Oxide inks. If you um, don't have a variety of address Distress Oxide inks, I think colored paper would work beautiful for this card too. Just kind of arranging them so I can fit one more pine cone in here without getting another piece of cardstock. So here they are. We're going to set those aside and then now we're going to die cut out our fine frames. Um, this was so neat and I liked it because it, it creates an itty bitty fine lined frame. Um, this is just one die, but it will create multiple frames that are layered together. So one shot through the die cut machine will create, I think, five or six um, individual frames. I was hoping, I went through forward and back, but I was hoping they would kind of stick together because I wanted the detail of a thicker frame, all of them together basically, but you can see how fine it is. I'm going to try and keep them together um, and then secure them together with uh, glue and acetate because I wanted to create a shaker window with this frame. But you can see how thin it is. Nice to have in your stash because of the versatility of it. You could separate them um, for card making projects. Okay, once I have everything cleaned up, I'm going to create a backer for my shaker card. My shaker window, I should say. So just using white card stock, I'm going to trim down a same size rectangle. And then I'm going to bring in my acetate and we're going to trim down a piece of acetate to go behind it. Now the acetate is going to work great because I can put glue all along that back frame and then I can lay that frame on the acetate. This way um, all those pieces stay stuck together and if I use glue um, it's nice because the glue can get in, into those little nooks and crannies making sure that all those frame pieces stay together. So I added a generous amount of glue. Now I'm going to add my acetate. I'm going to press down really good. The outer piece, there's a little um, frame that didn't want to attach. <laughs> We're going to add a little bit of glue just to fix that. Just going to lift it up a little bit, add our strip of glue, and then press down on that acetate. And our frame it looks really pretty. And it looks really detailed. I mean, in the close-up pictures, I think you'll be able to tell how pretty it is when they're all stuck together. Okay. Now I'm going to add, flip it over. I'm going to add some foam adhesive to make a shaker card. Usually you want to double up your foam, but I'm not going to use um, sequins for my shaker. I'm going to use glitter. So you, I'm making sure that the um, foam tape is as close together as I can get it. Um, this way none of the glitter um, will seep out. I'll just remove the release paper off of my foam tape. And then um, the glitter that I'm using um, I, for my Christmas projects, I loved using the chunky glitter. 
Um, I know MFT used to sell it. I don't know if they still do or not. But I found this to be comparable and I got it at Walmart. Well, not that one, this one here. I just filled up my smaller container container for travel. But um, to me, it works the exact same and it's only 88 cents at Walmart. So next time you're in a little craft aisle at Walmart, the um, clear glitter works really good for this. So I just added my backing and um, it doesn't shake very much, but it does move. So there's lots of sparkle in here, kind of like a little snow bank in the background. And I really like that. And it's not too bulky either. So we're going to set that aside, bring in our craft mat, and we're going to color our elements. I thought we would use iced spruce for our um, pine needles. The name is ice spruce so i thought well why not it's kind of like a gray really more than a green like a bluish gray so i thought it'd work great for these now i'm just going down the spine of the pine needles and leaving the e edges of them white um i think this gives a great effect almost like it's um has snow on them so just straight down the middle gave it a nice little snowy effect now for my little berries i'm bringing in tattered rose it's a pale pale peachy pink. For my pine cones, I'm bringing in vintage photo. And to give them a little bit of a dimension, I'm going heavy on one side with my finger dauber and then just pulling that color out. Um, I think this adds a little bit of dimension to a somewhat um, non-dimensional die cut piece here. I'm going to do that to all three. And then once my pine cones are done, I have my, my bow here. And then the bow does have a layerable centerpiece, so we're gonna layer that on top. I'm coloring in my bow with um, scattered straw, some nice soft tones for today's card. And we'll do that centerpiece also. And all of our elements are colored in, easy peasy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of arranging on our shaker. So we're going to bring that back in and to attach the pine needles I'm going to be using just my glue and I want to go over the bottom lower left corner. So we'll go down just the spine using glue and attach that. The elements in this die set is so nice because it can create a real pretty wreath. The only die that I didn't use was the holly leaf, um, but that would make a real pretty wreath also. Okay, we're gonna put two facing down the bottom. I like, um, since my rectangle um, shaker is a little bit on the more narrow side, I like overlapping some of the elements. So here's what it looked like and I was happy with the outcome without adding that third pine cone, but we're going to keep it um, and use that for the inside of our card. For my sentiment, I'm using a joy die. Now um, I also cut out three with white cardstock and I layer them together um, with, the, with the gold being on top. So there's four layers in total. I thought this would give a little bit of added dimension um, for my sentiment. Now the joy die that I'm using I've had for a while. It's I believe it's a Cartabella die. And it's um I, I did find it for you guys if you're interested in it on Amazon. But um I like how skinny the letters are. I just attached that. Lovely. And I thought we would bring down some of that gold from our sentiment. So I die cut out one of um the bow that was in the die set um, with gold cardstock too. I'm gonna just offset it with my um, scattered straw bow, just so a little bit of that gold is peeking out, just kind of pulling down that gold to that bottom corner. And I think this worked out perfectly. I'm gonna add a, the gold centerpiece and then add my scattered straw centerpiece. And I think that looks a lot better. <laughs> Okay, I did add foam adhesive behind there. I'll just remove that. And then off camera, I did die cut out one of the smaller pine needles and then also one more of the berries. And then I just colored them in the same exact colors that I used for, um, for our shaker here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my bow in that bottom corner. I just love the way that looks. 
Okay, now since we have pine needles hanging over, I'm adding glue just to the needles, the pine needles that are hanging over on the card. Um, we're gonna add a little extra glitter. I think this makes a great effect on pine needles, like I said, because it looks like ice crystals. We And we've had, yesterday we had snow. I couldn't believe it. I was my, I was not ready for it, <laughs> although I do love the snow. But um, this is what it reminded me of. It wasn't really snow. I would say it was like um, icy snow, <laughs> but it's melted now, I think it is. But it's cold though. It's like 18 degrees. But I just added my glitter right on top, tapping off the excess. And I just love, the cameras really can't pick it up, but I just love the way this looks on pine needles. Okay, we'll funnel the rest of our glitter back in our little container. And then, um, We'll take our card base and then our two extra pieces that we colored in. We're just going to add some glue behind them and create a little cluster in that bottom right corner. We'll put these to good use. We'll put it in this corner here. We'll add glue behind our pine cone and then um, we'll tuck our berries behind our pine cone. I think this is such a soft and subtle um, color combination. I just love it. I'm going to adjust my pine cone. As I pulled it up to show you guys, it just didn't look right to me. <laughs> so we're going to kind of tilt our uh, pine cone a little bit. Okay, since my glue is still drying with the glitter, I'm just going to use glue to attach my shaker directly to my card base. I'll just fill up the background. And my glue has a little bit of a clog in it, so I gotta squeeze it really good <laughs> and place that right in the center. And then I'm not gonna add any bells or whistles because I think the glitter is enough. The glitter and the gold. But that's my project for today, guys. Super pretty. Um, again, links are down below in case you guys want to check everything out. And then I did leave the cleanup in. Since I'm not doing Try It Out Tuesday, I'm doing Countdown to Christmas instead. I thought I would do the cleanup um, after the close-ups here. But I wish you a lovely day, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.